quick story I want to share with you. Um, this happened, I think, last week, Saturday? Yeah, almost yeah. a week ago. Almost a week ago, yeah. Tomorrow will be one week exactly. Well, I went to work and um, she had to go to Nungwa. So I drove to work and after that she took the car to Nungwa. And surprisingly, she went to Nungwa and came back safe, smooth, and sound, and nothing happened. And you know, I haven't eaten like the whole day after work. Basically, I teach swimming and after swimming, you get very tired and very hungry. So, I, I, me, I told her to drive so that I can get a chance to eat, which she gladly did. She drove. And well, we are telling this story because we just want to let you know the story that recently, Franca had an accident. Like, she, she literally dropped the car going? she literally dropped the car into a gutter and it was a total mess <laughs> it was a total mess so you but 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 i mean we fixed the car later though so she drove all the way to a, a junction i think we're going to pantang yeah we're and dropping she drove, a friend she, we're dropping a friend she drove all the way to pantang junction i mean that was the time i finished eating and then I had a call from one of my uncle, so I literally couldn't even take the car back from here to drive because I was still I still had to talk to my uncle. So after the call with my uncle, the friend we were dropping by said she wanted to buy some food, and then she got the food. so we're like okay, if we get the food that'll be okay for you because she also hasn't eaten since morning, but. She had a second thought that she could do tea. And I was like, you haven't eaten since morning. It would be best if you eat proper heavy meal at the time. I think it was about 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. 9 p.m. there. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I'm around um, eight, eight, eight ish, there. Eight-ish there about. And... <laughs> so I'm getting parts very fast. <laughs> it's surprising. So I were, I, I we're just going and lady wanted to go home. But we're like, oh no, I even championed the cause that we should just go in so, she so she's able to buy the food. And can you imagine immediately, we're like, okay, cool, she decided to buy the food. And then Franca and the car, brought some gutter, I hit my head, she hit her head, but we didn't get hurt. And we fixed the car. Yeah. But but to yeah, be honest, I was very calm. And all of that. Yeah. The I feeling was the feeling was some way. I feel really yeah. bad. But yeah. I was just quiet because you know at the moment uh, the car is on mine. I'm supposed my man's car. <laughs> so what do I have to do? I just have to keep mute and follow the trend, you know. <laughs> but it wasn't wasn't an easy thing easy thing at all because uh, one of the things that got spots in the car, I fixed it. It wasn't up to three days. That I fixed that thing, the shaft. Yeah, it wasn't. I fixed the shaft not long ago, and the shaft had to get spot again. Has to fix it. And the shocks got broken, like my tie got spot. Like basically, you can it got spot. You can so it was quite stressful, very, very stressful. Because the money was I went through. We get very, very stressful. But we, we got to fix the car anyway. And we'll share the videos with you so you'll be able very to sorry. be able to see what happened at the end of the day. But God being good, nobody got hurt, nothing happened to anybody. You know, fix the car. Just wanted to share this story with you. I mean when, when you're driving, just be mindful. Yeah. And be like two steps ahead of yourself when you're driving. It helps. Yeah, it gives you more courage and confidence when you're when you're doing it. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If by any chance you've had any experience driving and you want to share with us, please do share with us. Let's know how you how you handle the situation. Peace out.